Hello everyone. As I said, I would come back and show you the projects I've made using the products that I was sent from Queen of Craft. And I'll put the link to that website in the description box below. And the first thing I made was actually a banner, which is why I ordered the star. Here we go. The star die set which has eight pieces and cut absolutely beautifully no problems whatsoever with this die and the cardstock I was using was actually a glittered cardstock and it's it's quite it's quite a thick sturdy cardstock it's very quite heavy weight I'm trying to see if there's a, a weight on here but I I don't seem to be able to find it, but I know it is very, you know, like it's a good thickness. Um, and I found this thrifting a couple of years ago. It has a few more sheets left in it, and it's come in very handy for Christmas projects. So the first thing I did was make a hanging banner. It's not, it doesn't go across the room it goes down and I'm going to use it to put in my window on either side of my Christmas tree and I'll just get it for you so it's basically just cutting different size stars from the die and layering them up as you can see there um, and it goes it'll be hung from my curtain rod and go down either side of the Christmas tree and of course as the lights hit it and that it will have a lovely sparkle to it because I've used some shiny cardstock and glittered cardstock and uh, let me see like on the back of this one you can you can see how it's got the shiny center and the glittered outer and on this side it's the opposite way around it's the shiny outside and the glittered center and then in between all that I have these little mirrors and I've put those on there to help weight it a little bit and right at the end I have this acrylic bauble to add weight now I would have liked to have added a large bell at the bottom and I still may but my bells are packed away with my Christmas decorations at the moment and I haven't got them out yet so um, we'll see how I feel when I hang this up. I've made two of these and I will show you a little video hanging it on my craft room door um, just to show you how it looks hanging down and I'll insert that here. Okay, so that's the first project. So there were two of these that I made um, and they're quite long. I will measure it and put it on the screen now I've, so you know how long it is. It's probably as tall as me almost. So it's, I'd say it's, I'd say it's four foot. So whatever that is in meters. <laughs> Um, because I'm just over five foot and this looks like it's a foot shorter than me so that will hang nicely in the window and the second thing I made um, once again using the star dies and also the stickers I've made these lovely little Christmas stockings and I love the way they've turned out and I've made these out of cereal box liner bags you know the cereal bags I love using the cereal bags I have a whole playlist on where I've used cereal bags and things and I was inspired by watching a video actually two videos firstly I was watching a video by 
Tina from Hummingbird Tales. She was opening one of her entries and there were these little baggies that somebody had made for her and they had the cereal bags and I thought well that's nice because you know it was a little bit different to what I'd seen um, and anyway I didn't think much more of it but then I was watching another video and I think it was Live Love Craft and she was showing Christmas stockings that she'd bought um, I think from Amazon or something red ones old-fashioned ones and then I put that one and Tina's video together and came up with this so they're like the bags that Tina had but they're in the shape of the stocking that this other video showed and all it is is book paper cut to the shape of a stocking as you can see there and then I've sandwiched it inside of the cereal bag and then I've stitched roughly and that was on purpose, just a couple of loosely stitched lines all the way around. I did stop stitching about an inch or so. I'll show you that. An inch or so from the top, see like that? And that was so it was easy to put things into the bag so it wasn't too flat. And also so I could stitch this little um, ruffled crepe paper on either side at the top with a zigzag stitch because we all know glue doesn't really stick very well to these cereal bag liners and I've stuffed that full of some ephemera pieces and I've used I've made a rosette out of music paper I've used one of the star shapes from the star die from Queen of Craft I've used a bit of vintage tinsel I've also used the sticker set which was the dinner sticker set. This one here. And it comes with all these beautiful the stickers here. So I've used that and I've also put another tiny little star on the front from the die set and one here also. And along here I've used the lovely little gems from Queen of Craft as well just to decorate along that edge. Inside I've cut out some more star shapes and put them in a bag. Um, inside here I have what I have I have three of these and I got these I found these all while thrifting over the last few years and they're three different styles that I found and they are old and you know they might have a little mark on them or something like that but very usable in your crafting for different things so I have three of those in here I have a little flare button I have a wooden heart and a what is it a violin I have a butterfly die I have the stars I have a napkin folded at the back there I have a little um, Christmas gift bow I have some silver thread which is this lovely one here and I also have this a beautiful piece of this feather boa it's quite a, a nice little size just to use on a project somewhere so I've tucked that in the top there I also have a couple of uh, doilies paper doilies in the top there but there's also a couple of gold ones in the back down the bottom as well and in the back because you can put things in the front and the back I've popped in a couple of fabric crochet doilies there as well and I love the way they've turned out I think they're wonderful and a great way to you know give people a few craft goodies and whatever they're interested in you could um, make it accordingly like if they were into journal making you could add lots of bits of ephemera for journal making if they make things out of lace you could fill it with lace and things so whatever they or you know if they're into what's the other one um, mixed media you could fill it with lots of mixed media pieces or even like if they're into uh, like journaling on a day-to-day -day basis you could fill it with some stickers and things like that so I've made three of those using that star 
die set as well and with the leftover little bits of star I actually made a tag uh, a gift tag I've just laid up some of the stars here and put a larger one down the bottom with once again some more of those little jewels on it and I've left the back blank so that I can write a name on that and put that on a gift for somebody so that is what I've made now I unfortunately did not make anything out of this because this die did not work for me which I had something in mind for this one but because it doesn't work I can't make that um, now I have seen people use this die so perhaps this one is you know one of those odd ones that's a fault and I will be in touch with the um, company to let them know uh, but just be aware that this one didn't work for me, whereas everything else worked perfectly well for me. So I'm not going to complain or anything like that. It, sometimes it's just a one-off thing. It doesn't mean that they're all like that. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I made. And like I said, I'll put links also to the to Tina's video that I watched for the bag, that I saw the bag, and also I think Live Love Craft where she was showing her stockings, just, you know, because I think that's nice. So take care, everybody, and thank you for watching. And I'll also put the link to Queen of Craft in the description box below also. Thank you now. Bye.